broadcast live. Welcome back to the show. You're still watching Speedster on the Path. Do me a favor, make sure you follow me on the socials at Speedster, bro. That's on Twitter, Facebook, as well as Instagram for more updates. And make sure you hashtag Speedster in the Park. Still chilling out with Brandon Fuljala, professional South African skateboarder. Um, in the first part of the show, we spoke about um, basically his intro, who he is, the challenges he's gone through. In this part of the show, the second half of the show, we're going to get into more of the deep stuff. Your journey to the 2020 Olympics. Mm -hmm. It's the very first time skateboarding is going to be in the Olympics and you're making your way there. Yes, Tell sir. us about that. How does that happen? Um, so basically at the moment there's a couple of contests which Street League is one of the highest level of contests that they have at the moment. Then we have the level 5 events which have been sanctioned by World Skate to say that the parks are of the quality to hold like an Olympic qualifier contest. Do we have any in South Africa? Not at the moment but I know Kimberly Diamond Cup have come back and they're trying to make that step to get a national championship and also have a contest that we can. Um, have a qualifier in South Africa and that will definitely be the next step for African skateboarding. Um, but in terms of my journey, um, I used to skate the like World Cup skateboarding circuit around Europe and then from there the guys that ran World Cup skateboarding started heading out World Skate. Um, and those guys invited me because they knew that they had to be an African representative at the Olympics. Sure. And they weren't too sure of how many African riders were going to come and participate and whatnot. So he gave me the heads up and because we didn't have the federation sorted, they used to give me a wild card. But now it's in the process of everything getting sorted out and sanctioned by the Roller, Sp Roller Sport Federation in South Africa, mm. as well as SASCOC. So now they're starting to say, hey, you can go out there and represent South Africa. Um, so. There's like nine contests throughout this year. They're going to be all over the world. There's going to be one in China, one in Japan, one in the USA, one in London, which is the World Championship. So, I mean, there's a couple of contests that I'm going to be going to and traveling to and skating. So that's pretty much the process. And then in May 2020, this year, actually, yeah. I still think it's 2019 for some reason. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. in May, we figure out who exactly is the qualified, qualified list of for... the top 20 skaters that will be performing sure. in Tokyo. Wow. So yeah, it's pretty so, much, so, it's a long road, but it's still, it's still exciting. And how many other South Africans are doing what you're doing? Um, so there's one other guy at the moment, but we're in the process of trying to figure out if more people can come, you okay. know, because more people definitely deserve to have the opportunity and have the chance to be out there to represent, you know? So, yeah. I mean, I'd like to see more guys come out. We have the talent, South Africa, have the level of skateboarding that the world has to offer. So mm. yeah, hopefully more guys come out and, you know, have the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's talk about the, the, the politics and, and the not so nice stuff mm. about um, the South African skateboarding scene. What, what, what do, what's wrong with it? What's the problem with it? Yo, so at the moment, there's just a lot of, like, I guess people want to own the federation and some people want to be in charge of everything and skateboarders want to run it as skateboarders. Um, but unfortunately, we haven't had the time to set up the clubs and go from a regional perspective to provincial and then provincial to like national championship and then national to international. Mm. So that structure unfortunately isn't there. So that's causing a lot of people to say, hey, but I never knew about these contests that were happening in 2019. So they missed out on the first season of the Olympic qualifiers. Mm. And they take two of your highest scores from there and they add the points to the world ranking. Sure. So unfortunately, some people that have missed out on that first season opportunity, they're saying now that they're starting to get a structure and people are starting to get more information and know what's going on with the Olympic qualification, people are starting to say, hey, but I want to go. Mm. No, I want to go to Tokyo. But unfortunately, they, it's a little bit too late at the moment. It's not formalized. Probably. Exactly. It's not too formalized because you know skaters, we like to be a part of the culture. Yeah. We do this because we love it. And now that a structure starts getting involved, there comes a thing of who's in charge. Sure. You know, and then there's obviously some Fight. things we need to be, we need to be in a democratic kind of situation where that the right people will be the president of the federation, you know? So sure. there's obviously where there's power, there's politics, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So that's, that's, that's all that's going on how, in the skating how, 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 do you, how do you live a normal life? How do you sustain yourself as a professional skateboarder? Are you making any money? Is, as our South African pro skaters making any money? So a lot of the guys that I speak to, they won't be making money and they'll be working a side job. But I've fortunately been supported by good companies that are willing to support my vision and my movement. And then it comes down to what I'm doing. So it could be a competition. And then if I'm doing well in competitions, I'm gonna be earning incentives. But then there'll be the cultural side where I'm filming video parts and I'm out there in the streets and I'm putting in work. So 
I'm wearing the products that they supply me with and then they give me a salary to do that. So nice. I'm definitely able to make a living out of this nine to five, yeah. do my bits and every day I'm on the board. Cause if you're not on the board every day, somebody else is putting in that work when you're sleeping, you know? Sure. So you need all that time, you need everything to go like to plan and you can't be working a job if you want to be a pro skater. Exactly. You know, to that level. Yeah. It's, it's I, I find it a lot, a lot like music, a lot like hip hop because um, when we started DJing, when we started making hip hop, hip hop wasn't making any money, you know? Mm -hmm. Fast forward a couple years later, you look at the brand campaigns, you look at whatever that has to do with influence, it's all hip hop artists, you know? And I see the same thing happening for skateboarders. That's why I asked them like, how, how, how does one sustain? Because having, a, like you said, having a job and doing it sometimes is, 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 is it's just not, not sustainable. Good enough. It's yeah. crazy. There's also been a lot more opportunities in terms of like commercials and companies coming and wanting to do skate commercials. Nice. Because I'm also sure they're seeing the influence of skateboarding and what it's doing to the culture, you know? Sure. So they're definitely trying to hop on the wave. They're trying to say, hey, we want a person that's going to suit this image for their, their advert. And yeah. then they're going to start taking on skateboarders. And that way we're able to make a little bit more money, you know? Sure. So, so I guess there's ways to make it work. Yeah. There's ways to make it work. Hey man, we could go on for days and days mm -hmm. and days, but unfortunately we don't have time because we're going to play a game of skate. Thank That's you so great. much, bro. Anytime, bro. I'm going to kick his ass. Oh, I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. How talk it, I walk it. I've been looking at you like I'm stalking. All right, cool guys. Uh, we're about to play a game of skate, but before we play a game of skate, I want to remind you guys that the 25th of April is going down. We're doing my birthday skate jam right here at Thatcher's Men in Pretoria. Go get your tickets and web tickets. We're going to have a skate jam. We've got 10,000 Rand up for grabs. Everybody is welcome. Spread the word. Make sure you're here. We're going to have DJs. We're going to have artists. It's going to be lady. 25 April, Thrashers, DJ speaks to skate jam. Okay. Right about now though, we're about to play a game of skates. Myself and Brandon, or Brandon and I rather. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> how uh, skate works is it's basically, uh, we spell out the word skate, so S-K-A-T-E. So we'll play a game of rock, paper, scissors. Whoever wins will set. Whatever trick you set with, let's say Brandon sets, I have to do the same trick. If I don't land the trick, I get an S. He sets again, if, he, if I don't land that one, I get a K, like that, until you get to E. So let's give it a shot, let's see how it goes. Let's do this. All right. Oh, I said. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tie this guy up. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Coming at me hard there, bro. Yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm being too excited, eh? All right. I said a kickflip. Yeah, the worst one. S for speedy. Ah, no! <laughs> Three shot. I told you I wasn't gonna go easy on you. What did I get myself into? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he came with the gnarly tray. Okay, this one's for you. I know you like this one. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Hey, special. Oh, what's that? Is that T? T. Okay, we're getting my tricks here, bro. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was your chance. All right, I'm gonna finish you off right here. Okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, one more try. It's okay. You sure you don't want one more? You might get lucky. Nah, I'm good. All right. I'm good. Good game plan. That's right. I win. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that's why he gets paid to do this. Brandon Fujalo, thank you so much for being my guest, bro.
Thank you, bro. Thanks for having me. Where do we catch you on the socials in case they want to follow you? Um, you can catch me on Instagram and Facebook at brands underscore Valjalo. Yeah. If you don't know how to spell that, I got that shit tattooed on my arm. <laughs> you feel me? So that's just for you guys out there. Yeah. But yeah, catch me on there and you'll see some more skate content. Bro, bro. Thanks, bro. all the best. Good luck with everything for 2020. Cool. I represent, man. Represent. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Guys, thank, thank you guys. so much for tuning in. Speed stay in the park. Catch you guys next time. Peace. Broadcast live.